Dear students and colleagues, this was a very difficult week at Stellenbosch University and I know the destructive and hurtful incident that took place over the past weekend at Heismere caused a lot of pain. I am truly sorry that this has happened and I want to assure you of the university's commitment that this type of behavior will not be tolerated on our campus. It is our main priority to provide an inclusive environment for all our students and to maintain a safe student community where social cohesion is promoted to provide quality tertiary education for all. We know that our students urgently want to know what is happening next and how this situation is being dealt with. We are aware of the petition asking that the student captured on the cell phone video should be expelled. We also know you want to know why decisions are not made more speedily. Let me explain the student disciplinary process. Despite our strongest condemnation of the incident, coupled with a significant and understandable public outcry, as required by law, proper procedures must be followed to secure a solidly defensible outcome to the situation at hand. The final outcome must pave the way to avoid any repeat of any similar breaches of the right to personal human dignity in the future on the Stellenbosch University campus. Grievances by students in terms of unfair discrimination, harassment, sexual harassment, gender-based violence and victimization are reported to the Equality Unit first for preliminary investigation. The process is guided by the policy on unfair discrimination and harassment. This policy stipulates that the matter should be investigated promptly and each case is investigated on its own merits. This will include inviting everyone involved to provide information and statements where applicable. The Equality Unit considers the facts and makes recommendations on whether a formal student disciplinary process should be followed for further investigation and the appropriate action to be taken. Key principles are confidentiality, procedural fairness to all parties and timeless processes. In discriminatory complaints, student discipline will receive a report from the Equality Unit recommending a disciplinary investigation. When the student discipline investigation is completed and it is found that there are sufficient grounds to charge a student for misconduct, the implicated student will be presented with a letter containing the preliminary allegations against this person. This person then has 72 hours to respond. Thereafter, student discipline presents the investigation bundle and the implicated student statement to the chairperson of the Central Disciplinary Committee, who must decide whether a matter must be referred to a disciplinary hearing. If a matter is indeed referred to a disciplinary hearing, the implicated student must be given a notice of 10 working days of the hearing. A disciplinary panel will preside over the hearing and decide on the outcome of the hearing. Please take note of this. According to our policies, the implicated student must be given a notice of 10 work days. Under certain circumstances, I, as rector, can suspend a student from the university pending disciplinary investigation. The student disciplinary code makes provisions for a confirmation of suspension hearing to take place before a CDC panel within five work days to review or ratify or amend that decision. How was all this applied to the Heismere incident? The Heismere residence management was made aware of the incident on Sunday the 15th of May 2022 whereafter they immediately reported it to the relevant university structures for urgent investigation. 
Since then, the investigation received priority attention by Stellenbosch University management. The student captured on the video was suspended from the university pending the outcome of an investigation on Monday the 16th of May 2022. The Equality Unit then has expedited its investigation. It has finalized its report into this matter and the report with recommendations has been referred to the Office of Student Discipline. All cases are confidential and the confidentiality of the complainant and the respondent should be respected. The confirmation of temporary suspension hearing will take place today, Thursday the 19th of May 2022, before a Central Disciplinary Committee panel. The Student Discipline Code, the SDC, requires this hearing to take place within five working days after receipt of the temporary suspension letter by the implicated student. The purpose of this hearing today is for the Central Disciplinary Committee to decide whether they confirm, amend or set aside my decision to suspend the student pending the finalization of the disciplinary proceedings. The Office of Student Discipline has commenced its investigation into the complaint. The affected student received a new laptop and he was assisted in setting it up. He is also supported on an academic level by being provided with the required learning material. He was also offered counselling by the University's Centre for Social Development and Counselling. In addition, the University booked the student a flight home to be with his family. I will join my colleagues to keep everyone in our community updated of the progress in this critical matter. Please be assured of my and the Rectorate's commitment to a University of inclusive excellence and zero tolerance to any racism. Forward together.